Hey everyone, welcome to another garden vlog. In today's video, we're going to talk about deadheading rhododendrons. So ideally, you want to deadhead the rhododendron after all the petals of the blooms or flowers have fallen off. So over here, you can no longer see the petals or flowers on my rhododendron plant. They've all been fallen off. So right now is the perfect time to deadhead these stems off. So there are several benefits why deadheading is beneficial for the plant. The first one being is that it's just more aesthetically cleaner and pleasing. Um, luckily, these stems actually don't stick out more than the plant. There are some other plants where once the flower has wilted, the stem is just bare or the petals are still wilting there. So aesthetically, you want if you want like a much nicer plant and to just keep it more rigorous, with just the foliage, it's a good idea to deadhead. The second reason of deadheading is to prevent the seed pods from growing. So if you do not cut these or deadhead these stems off, the plant will use its energy to create seeds, essentially in these seed pods, and it'll divert this its energy to creating this, as this is the next this would be the next thing in the life cycle of the flower bloom. But if uh, by deadheading it off, the plant can conserve the energy into the bulb or the roots so that next year there are more and better blooms, essentially saving its energy. So that's a few reasons why you would want to deadhead any of the, like, the flower stems once the flowers have been spent. So here's a close-up of my rhododendron plant. You can see on the stems that the petals have wilted or they have fallen off. And on the stem, they'll see a little bulge. That is where the seed pod is. So if this is if the stem is left on the plant, these seed pods will grow bigger and bigger full of seeds. But mainly I want to deadhead because I don't want seeds and I want blooms instead. So to deadhead, you are going to cut below the stem, just to basically remove the whole stem. So you're going to cut it just like that. And there we go. So we've already cut off one stem. So you basically do that with the rest of the stems to ensure that you get rid of these stems before the seed pods start growing bigger and bigger. And there we have it, how to deadhead rhododendrons. I hope you found this video informative and I'll see you next time.